Okay, um, today we're going to talk about the Urbonic 70S uh, grinder, uh, featured by Lance Hedrick in his budget grinder video um, a few months back. Um, it's out of South Korea, has 60 millimeter uh, burrs, flat burrs, and it it's about $300. I, I, I think I got it for $236 from Amazon, but it was $286 by the time it came to my door, and that was a few months back, so it, let's just call it a $300 grinder. Um, and it'll ship out of South Korea. There's a power switch on the back. If you put it in the up position, it will go through the quick, uh, the quick press button meant for the catcher, uh, or you could, you know, use your portafilter there. Uh, and if you put it on the downside, uh, it will go on constant. And I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but when I have it on the um, quick press button the power goes through the dimmer switch. I, I put the dimmer on because Lance said that the, the speed of the motor might be a little too fast, it'll heat up the grind. So I don't know how much of that matters, um, but this dimmer is really bad. You really shouldn't do that to your electric motor. Um, uh, but I, I just, <clears throat> I put it up, uh, just having the power run through the dimmer without having it turned down at all, um, slows the motor down just a little bit. And I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but everything's working fine. One thing about the finish, you can see here, I was, uh, before the video, I was gonna take a piece of metal, just a small spoon and bang on it to see if it's metal. So this is metal up here, this is plastic down here, which I found out when I drilled through that for the, the dimmer switch. So just dinging that once with this little spoon uh, caused the paint to chip off, which was surprising. I was like, so surprised. I'm like, wow, did that really happen? And I did it here again. And then I chipped paint off here too. So the, you know, so the, the finish isn't spectacular, but you get what you pay for, but the flat burrs are pretty amazing. <laughs> So, what else? Um, the, originally, this video was going to be about how bad this knob was because the, the knob was sli slipping on the spider gear for me. But Lance did a second video on the 80 series of this, uh, and the 80 series has a different shoot. And a, a commenter, M.M. Good, he had mentioned, I hope people realize that they really have to put this knob back on firmly. And once I did that, it caught the uh, spider gear underneath really, really well. So um, I, I did take off the knob and I bent the one spider gear or the one tooth of the gear uh, flat so I didn't, so I could bring it down to zero, wherever zero is. And... Um, I left the detent in there, but so you can notice, I, I like it around five, but the detent here is like four and a half or five and a half. So if I put it on five, it might drift a little. So I'm just happy with like four and a half right now. So that's where I leave it and it works fine. And that actually got me up to a, um, a finer grind that allows me to increase more pressure on the, on the gaja. Uh, the, um, if you saw my last video, it, I, I was basically pouring a, a, a turbo shot because I wasn't really getting it to grind fine enough. I was having trouble, but when I once I went to go turn it down, I was using the pliers to get it to turn down a bit. But now the grinder is seasoned and um, working better and smoother. And now that I got the knob reseated, it doesn't seem to be a problem as long as I am conscious of where I'm keeping that. You, you can notice, I don't know if you can see a little bit of grinds on, on the edges here. Some of it spills out of this chute, and I'll show you, I'll, I'll uh, weigh out a uh, 18 grams and, and run it through. Maybe we'll just do that now. I, I, I have a cheap uh, scale, and I like this catcher because this catcher goes underneath this guard. You can see that it gets a little messy there, a little bit pours out, and when you have any retention, it'll be right up inside here where the guard is. But when you have this catcher underneath this, it doesn't spill out, it doesn't make a mess, it doesn't waste any. So that works out really well because I just turn it in here and then pour it in the portafilter and I have no issues there. So let's zero this out and we'll weigh out 18.3. That's what I usually do. That says 18.4, but that's okay because I'm gonna have 0.2 retention or something like that. So we'll just run this through right now. I'm gonna lift this off of here and then I always weigh it after I grind it just to make sure how much did I come out with. And I, I start it down here and then I open the chute and close it back up so they don't popcorn back out. And then you can see that there's no mess. It, it all goes in the catcher. You know, some of it will bleed out the top here because some of that is loose, but that doesn't matter. And it's done. I don't know how many seconds that was. Seven seconds. Banging out a little bit. 
And then again, your retention is gonna be up inside there. If you can see inside there, I just turn the grinds a little bit just to get them to not stick, no clumping. And that works out pretty good once I dump it into the portafilter and it fits inside the portafilter. Just, anyway, so let's weigh that. And so we're at 18.3. We started with 18.4. So yeah, there's some retention, but it's not that bad. But we'll do that, we'll make that later. Let's come back over here. So I really like the shoot. Uh, the retention is good. Um, the only, the last thing to show you is how to clean it. And I've been waiting to clean it. So this might be a little um, messy and ugly in here. One, once we get in here, you just take off the two uh, thumb screws. Uh, my hands don't work so good. So please excuse that. But I don't want this to go flying across the room. I do like the way that this is engineered with the auger that feeds the uh, grinds into the... Um, into in between the burrs and this little knob. So, so that, that'll build up a little bit there. This little depression is what pushes the, the burrs together. And I love the design here with little knockouts come out and they sweep all the grinds in this area and push them down into that um, grill. It's just one little line in a circle, but that's what, um, it causes the declumping. And if I stick the, the bristles up in there, you'll see how this will fall out. And that's where basically uh, most of your retention is going to be. You can see, I just knocked a little bit out there. So you can see that's where a lot, a lot of your retention is gonna be. But, and so, you know, it's important to clean these out once in a while. I'll, I'll take care of that a little bit better off a of camera. But I just wanted to show you how that was designed. I really like it, it, it works well and you know, I bought it under a YouTube advice from Lance and others, and, and I'm happy, and it, and it works great. And that's everything about the grinder. Uh, I'll have a follow-up video about uh, making the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you then. Thank you, guys.